It's watercolors again. So in the last video, we unboxed the July Art Snacks box, and this week, let's make some art with it. Check out the previous video if you have not already done so. The link is in the description box below. And let's get to this week's video. Okay, so I made this uh, rough sketch of a dragon, and that's what I'm going to go with. Got uh, some testings done here. Scales in blue, and we'll use this art crayon on the back of the dragon. I'm not sure what these spikes are called, but yeah, I'm, I'm still confused on how to use this art crayon. It, you can draw directly onto the paper, and that's when you get this very saturated, nice red. But if you don't do that, it's really, really pale. Yeah, the thing is, if you don't, if you do draw onto the paper directly, because it's such a thick crayon, you don't get much control on where the pigment goes. You color outside the lines, and especially if I want to do something more detailed. So yeah, I'll, I'll try and figure out what I can do. I also tried to color onto the my palette and as you can see you don't get much color out there at all so yeah i'm not sure how people use this maybe with stencils or something more like mixed media projects which i haven't really tried so yeah we'll see what i can do Let me start by saying that this is definitely the thickest watercolour paper I've ever used. It's like, I'm a, I'm a hoarder, so I have a ton of paper but I can't bear to use them. And this is the first time I'm actually like using such nice watercolour paper. So I started off sketching the dragon and uh, doing the fine lining and Basically, the whole drawing process took me really, really long. There's so much details, all the scales. I drew and redrew the scales till I was satisfied. And then, in pencil, and then I realized that when I did the outlining, I actually did not follow the pencil line. So, kind of like a wasted effort. And after that, I decided to start by trying out the art crayon. And I did it for the beard. So the plan is to have the beard and the, the back of the dragon in red. And well, I guess the art crayon isn't really meant to be used this way because I regretted using it pretty much as soon as I got started. Like the colors were not uh, pigmented enough to be used as a watercolor and the you could not get any fine details in so yeah I switched to watercolors pretty quickly after that and so begin the very long tedious process of coloring in the dragon as if um, the drawing part was not bad enough nope the watercolor part was took me way way longer than I expected I gotta say that so far I'm loving this art snacks box more than I expected Partly because it it forces art supplies onto me and and also because I'm making this video so I'm forced to use them and it does trigger like unexpected creativity because um, you know you're forced with particular supplies with particular colors limitations and and how to to have a theme around it and yeah I, I was surprised at how how much I'm enjoying myself and how much I'm learning and forced to try new things and create new art that I've never tried before. So the red and blue this time made me think of dragons and I, I personally love blue so I thought that blue would be the main colour and we'll have the extra parts in red. And basically my strategy to do the watercolours on, on this painting is to do all the easy parts first. So I did the body, the huge swatches of yellow, and then I did a light blue uh, wash. 
and then now I'm doing the um, that back that little flex things on the back of the dragon. So light colors are uh, we'll wash on first, and then I'll add in the details later with a tiny brush. So you may have noticed that I've abandoned the water brush that came into the kit almost uh, immediately. Well, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with that brush. It's just that simply. I, if for, for the amount of detail work I want to get done, the brush was too big, so I used my own, and even then, my water brush was still too big for the tiny tiny details that I'm putting in here, like I'm putting in these little lines on the, on the back of the dragon with my tiniest, the tiniest brush I have, and yeah, I personally love doing this kind of detailed work. It's just that you need to be in the right mood for it. Obviously, you need to have the time, and you also need to be calm and patient and cool and collected. If not, you know, if you are in a rush and you get frustrated, you're basically you won't have the patience to do a nice drawing. Okay, now we've come to the crux of the piece. This is I don't know how many n hours in. <laughs> But yeah, colouring in the scales to make the whole piece pop. So I had the nice idea of doing like a gradient and uh, kind of like the inside of the scale. It's darker and it gets lighter on the outside and yeah, I struggled so much with it as in the beginning. I tried doing the lines like I did with the red, red veins on the flag things on the back of the dragon but it didn't look nice, I didn't like it, so I, I tried doing like a water wash and whatever not, I, and I wanted a gradient, so so that, that took even more effort, and yeah, but um, I tried like different techniques, I tried like wet on wet or dry on wet, and in the end, uh, I guess I, I used like a huge mixture of stuff, like every scale I did it kind of differently, but I, I did like the way it turned out, like some parts the whites were more white, some parts it was darker and not so obvious, the gradient was not so obvious, but overall I think it went pretty well, except that it took really, really, really long. So as much as I loved how the piece looked in the end. I ended up with like a back ache and uh, and my arms were aching from from the drawing process and cramping too, especially you know holding the thin brush. Maybe I should have looked for like a holder or, or wrap something around it so that it's easier to grip. But yeah, not I won't be able to do such detailed drawings for every week's video, but. This is, yeah. You know, I, I I enjoyed myself overall. It was fun, and this is probably the most time and effort I've put into a drawing. And yeah, I did not finish. I did not color in the background because I had no idea what I could, I should be doing to the background to to make the piece stand out and and not like destroy the look, especially after so many hours put into it. So I just left it as, as it is. And then finally to end off, I have a ton of fine tech, uh, shiny shimmer watercolors. So I picked uh, like uh, silver to colour in the horns to add in that little bit of shine and, and extravagance then to finish off the piece. So there you have it, this is definitely the most uh, tedious and most time I've spent on a single piece of artwork to date. I hope to do better artwork in the future, so please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and hit the all notifications bell. Thanks and see you in the next video.